Welcome back and thanks for joining us. If you're new to our channel, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified of each new video. In the last video, we finally got out into nature again after eight long months. We hiked in St. Ursula Waterfall Park, which is called Parc des Chutes saint Ursule in French. It was a short hour and a half drive from Montreal and only $5 per person to enter the park. In this video, we get back to work on the van, this time to make frames for the upper cabinets. Oh, she's like a goldfish in a bowl. We gotta get her out. It's actually a really nice day. It's a really warm day today. Woohoo! We are in paradise. It's like heaven here today. Oh my gosh. This area, it's a bit of a dust bowl, as you can see, because they till like crazy and they removed all the trees. So it's always windy here. So I hope you can hear me. Oh no, I didn't even turn on the mic. Hey guys, this is Dory and I'm Mena. We travel with our lovely dog Fiona to help you discover the most beautiful spots and to share with you what it's like to live as a nomad. So subscribe and welcome to our channel. Hello from the workshop. It is a balmy 21 degrees around. So that's about 70 Fahrenheit. And any day where the sun is shining and we get to open that garage door is a great working day. So happy that it's nice and warm today. And uh, we're gonna have a, a nice bright workshop because the door is open, nice, bright and warm. Yeah. And it's, it's pretty chill. Oh wow, it is quite chill in here, holy. So it's 70 degrees outside, but in here, it is 60. So having this big door open really helps because it warms up the shop. We don't have to rely on the propane, which costs us less anyway. We have about three weeks left with this workshop. Today we're working on upper cabinets. So yeah, yeah, we're familiar with, uh, with doing the frames now that we've done the roof rack yes. and the benches. Hi, beauty. Hi, Destiny. Oh, wow. Oh, that ceiling looks great. You know, we haven't been here in a while. It's been a week, but it's nice to see her coming together so well. All right, well, we're gonna set up shop here, get some music going. So this, I wanna show you guys, this is our motivation station. <laughs> so right here, we have the battery and we have the music going over here and we have the food here. So if we've planned ahead, we have some nice meals and snacks over here. And of course we always have the tunes pumping cause that keeps our motivation high. So this is the motivation station and I think that's essential for any van build. All right, let's start setting up. Fee, come. My good girl. She had her, her lunch. Huh? Yeah, so I think we're gonna set her up outside because she likes to sunbathe. So we're going to build our cabinets with aluminum. We previously built the beds and the solar rack with aluminum. If you haven't watched those videos, we'll link them down below. Great information in there. The materials we used to complete this project was aluminum angle and aluminum tubes. They both were 1 8 of an inch of thickness and they were 20 foot long. First step is to figure it out how much aluminum you need. The beautiful part about building something custom is that 
you actually are building something for you according to your needs. So measurements, are it's a very personal thing, right? Things you need to figure it out is, do you want any appliance up there? For example, a microwave. If you want a microwave in there, you need to figure it out the height and the depth and also how long it is. So once you figure that out, you're gonna have a good idea for the measurements you need for your cabinets. You also need to consider the furniture you're gonna have underneath the cabinets. In our case, on Mena's side, we're gonna have the fridge and the bed. On my side, we're gonna have the bed. Hey, good morning guys. So today is Saturday. We're back at the shop. Yesterday we left was about, I'd say, 7 o'clock. Every time you start a new project, you always go through the same process. You figure it out, and then you run into obstacles, and then you gotta troubleshoot. And that was our day yesterday. We're working on the cabinets. We're gonna have an L bar here, we're gonna have an L bar here. So we're going to have a tube that's going to go down and another tube that's going to go this way and it's going to go all the way almost till the end. The L bar is holding on the uh, cross nut. Our problem was this one here. The screws that we have, they were long enough to reach the furring strip. So we have, if, if you recall, we have furring strip that go like this way. And we have two that go this way. We want to use the furring strip this way because this, this furring strip, it would put this a little bit too far out, right? We don't want to have the cabinets all the way here because we're going to have a counter here. So it's going to be awkward to work. The screws that we had, they weren't long enough, right, to go through the furring strip. So we have to go buy some longer screws for this week. Also, we ran out of L bars. All right, now that we have all the materials we need to complete the project, let's get back to work. Let's get it done. Yeah, cabinets are looking good. So this is our setup. L bar, L bar, tube, and tube. All right. On top we have the L bars as well. Before we drill anything or put the rivets, we're measuring everything inside the van, right? And we're going step by step. Even if it sounds repetitive, I think we've done close to 6,000 steps today, honestly, going in and out. So you guys see, we've just finished measuring everything, right? I'm holding, Mena is here, making the dots and putting the levels, right? Just to make sure everything fits properly. And yeah, when everything is leveled out, we trace it, we drill outside. And once we're done with all the drilling and everything, for the final parts, right, right now, everything is going to be rivet inside the van. But anyway, just wanted to do a sort of towards the end video. We've been having it on time lapse the entire time. Uh, so I just wanted to catch up so you guys have a little bit of idea what's going on and now we're going to finish the rest, drill and rivet inside. So the bones are done. Yeah, of course we're going to reinforce it, but honestly, it's solid. Yeah, even with the few screws that we put, it's solid. I'm not worried about the 
microwave anymore, and I was before we got the right screws for the, the ceiling. So, yeah, we're going to reinforce it more. Uh, well, we're going to have to take it down again for two things. We're going to put the carpet, the four-way stretch liner, and we just figured out that we want to put it underneath the cabinet so it goes down, right? So there's a nice finish and not finish, but at least you don't see where it starts. And since we're going to take it down, we want to cut this. We should have cut it before oh, we forgot. riveting everything, but we totally forgot. But it's okay because we have the miter saw and I think that's going to be my best bet. And then, like I said, we're going to put a nice little border on, at the bottom. On top, we're going to figure it out something for the sides, close the bottom, and we're going to leave it open. We're just going to put nice bungee cords or I don't know, something, something nice. And uh, it's just going to make things even lighter. More money for fuel. So now we're working on the second one. My side. So it should be a little bit faster because it's going to be shorter and yeah there's less cuts so yeah let's get to work oh yeah and we pretty much finished all our the rivets i think we have like five or six left right yeah so we have to go get more so tomorrow another stop hey good morning guys so sunday it's about nine o'clock in the morning today honestly yesterday doing the rivets was um hard work shoulders back arms everything is hurting but we gotta push through right we gotta push through especially when things are going good momentum is the key so yeah waiting for a minute to get back then we're gonna go directly to the shop and uh, let's see where the, the day ends today. So I see you at the shop. I need a coffee, badly. Good morning, everyone. It's another beautiful day at the workshop. It's about 20 degrees Celsius, which I think is 71 Fahrenheit. A little windy today, but this morning it was raining, so we're quite happy that we're gonna be able to get to open that big garage door, get some sunlight in, it's gonna warm up the workshop, and also it's gonna give us lots of light to work with. So we're only here for a few more weeks. This is quite an expensive workshop, although it was the cheapest that we could find in the area and it served the purpose for the winter time, but we want to get back to building from the in-laws or from my in-laws, which is going to be outside of their house since we're allowed to visit outside with our family now starting in a few weeks. And our lease here ends on June 6th, which is just a few weeks away. So let's get started, open up that big door and let the sunlight in. The best advice I could tell you if you want to make your cabinets with aluminum is start with the longest parts, so the L bars. Once the L bars are installed and you have your tubes cut, place them against the L bars use the level so you could get straight measurements bring it outside drill everything that you need once everything is drilled bring it back inside the van assemble everything together use your level to make sure everything is straight and then you can start riveting the pieces together uh, my side was a little bit easier and not only was it easier, we also had a couple of hours of experience, so everything went pretty fast. Still very strong. We're still gonna be screwing things down a little bit more. Right now it's just holding 
on the cross nuts. All right, so it's holding one, two, and three cross nuts. And then again, I'm gonna put extra screws everywhere we can, just to make it a little bit, you know, sturdier. Same thing on my L bar on the ceiling. We have, we're gonna have two in this furring strip, three in this furring strip, three in this furring strip, and two in that furring strip. It took us about 15 hours. That's what I'm averaging. I can't really recall the cost. We went to ICP car a couple of times and we purchased quite a bit. And the other thing is the price of materials just keep going up and up and up. We went there three times and all, at least two times it was different prices, right? For the same materials. So even if we would tell you the exact price when you go purchase, it might be different, which it probably will. But besides that, uh, we're super happy. It was easy to work with. My best advice when you're doing this is take your time, measure, measure, and use a level. Even the rivets, right? We did everything inside the van. The drilling, we did it outside. A few exceptions, sometimes you do the hole for your rivet and the second one is not matching so it's a little bit off so sometimes you have to pass your drill just to clean it up so that's going to be part one of our cabinets don't forget to watch our aluminum beds we also did that if you guys have any advice recommendations please leave them in the comments we gladly appreciate we're newbies at this we're just showing you guys our job our mistakes what it looks like our tips. I hope you could take something from this. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.